So um, I don't know when you're posting this one. I'm sure it'll be several days after the, the, the fact, but rest in peace. Oh, I'm going to watch Goodfellas tonight. In, yeah, I just. In his honor. That's so sad. That's so, 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 sad. so sad. Just. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's Corbin. I am not Ray Liotta. Oh, R.I.P. Ray Liotta. Yeah. Uh, one of the greats, man. <laughs> one uh, of the greats. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us Twitter account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. Today we got a really interesting video that uh, that I'm, I'm really interested in. This is do called Do Northeast Indians Consider Themselves Indians? So this girl who uh, I, I don't know what nationality she is, but she goes around and she talks to people from Northeast India about all the, you know, they go through discrimination and, and all the kind of stuff. What do they identify as? What do they feel about all the the kind of discrimination they feel when people say they're not really Indian or people don't know look at them and think that they're Indian? And so she kind of asked them specifically. So I'm actually quite interested uh, in, in hearing these people. I know it's going to be quite sad probably at some point. Because, yeah, probably so. Um, and I, I'm, I, in, in that same vein, I don't know if you heard this, but um, and I, I sent the information to Alexis because I knew she would want to know. But there's a, a story that was this morning in Variety that President Biden is meeting with. This isn't the joke. Um, he's asked BTS to come to the White House. And I'm sure he's invited other people to come representing different groups, yeah. but specifically to talk about um, uh, anti-Asian hate crimes and what can be done, which is really smart because BTS has so many people yeah. that are connected to them and anything that can be done to help promote. It's amazing that you still have to talk about this in a world where people have a brain. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah, it's quite quite unfortunate. Obviously, America has always dealt and probably will, unfortunately, for a long, long time with bigotry and racism like that. Cause that's just... everywhere, every, everywhere. Because we've seen it, we've seen it in India. We've seen when we personally ourselves we talk about this a lot when we were there right outside the Golden Temple, and these girls came up to us and said someone had spit on them and said go back to China, but they're Assamese. Yeah, it's yeah. awful. Um, so, anyway, quite interested in this video. So, uh, ready? Here we go. Yep. Three, two, one. Hey everybody, it's Carrie from Asian Boss. Where do you think these people are from? Northeast Would you be surprised India. if I told you they're actually from India? It's not no. just appearance that differentiates. I would have been a year, two years ago. Who are often discriminated against for having a different cultural background, religion, and ethnic makeup. So, how do Northeast Indians feel about these conflicts between them and mainland Indians? Do they consider themselves as true Indians? We hit the streets of Aizal to find out. How would you describe your ethnic background? Uh, I belong to uh, one of the states in northeast India, which is Mizoram. They have told us that we have uh, migrated from China itself, from Mongolia. I think I heard they. Sh huh? Simla. Simla. Okay. Simla. We're not so we can't really tell for sure because there are very limited researches that have been done. But politically DNA. speaking, I think we are. We can be regarded as Indians because uh, we are part of the Indian continent. Do not Northeast India a can low umta a foreigner rampon me. He mun tin sang ek marshalo tabula ing tin ye Northeast India he is so ifya ang. Mizo, why Northeast India? Mizo kan ye kay mani he he ko chak lampang na po mail te in ande una kan ye he ngat he nin aten katetjo nin Japanese ang. Mm. I can see it, a very similar Japanese type of look in this face. What uh, makes us different than uh, Northeast Indians is that our diversity, not just our uh, ways and our culture, but I think languages as well. And the way we look, when you, uh, we're not all the same. <laughs> Many people are not aware of the beauty of the Northeast. Uh, like it's it's very greener. The greenery, mm -hmm. the greenery yeah. is so much mountains, plains, rivers, and everything makes Northeast so different from the mainland. And it's it's highly the culture and heritage is very high in Northeast. Kani Northeast so a big thing in Hawaii. A miso te po kani Northeast kanan tihan kan tang lam na lian tak pa katasyo kan mail anita Mongolian kan ni big na henia. Chulo le kan tang lam na lian tak katasyo kan sa ko anita ni. When do you really consider yourself as an Indian? 
I do, but I'm not sure other people do. Mm. It's not up to them. Mm. Katnam ni na Indian kating ay lawa mizaw ti lirin kasi yaka Indian kaniti hi ako yam makasoy ngay lawa rin si ma India mini hi dulo kani yawangin Amaro chu kung lam ako chuan India mi amin ngay lawa tlang puya kay hi ang yung mga kahalo Japanese amin ngay rin Mainlanders ah Indian ah danghaw pula India kani iti in entinye ang la reaction ah ten kati chuan in magtehi entia ten chuan in hey in Indian ang lao hiyan hay ko chak lam pang Chinese dito ang lam pang hiyan min ngaya ma se kan ni lawa misaw tiktak kan ni kay maan ito. Seven years or eight years old, I went to Delhi. So the place where I stayed there, so the people asked me if I'm from which which place I am. I said I'm from Assam. Okay, from they asked me from Bangladesh. I was like, no, it's in India. Come on, you should know that Assam is a part of India. Right. I'm mistaken for Nepali, Chinese. Even Korean, if that if it even seems possible, Ads. but I think the far seems possible. But I think the farther away I get from northeast, that is the the more south I go, then the harder it is to recognize the fact that we are Indian. That mm. that's just my personal experience. Katya ang ang ay natan irin. Ah, kan mail well hen ko chak nen hen in ande unalay le kan. Mainly because we're not so involved in mainland India, its politics or even the pop culture. Uh, Northeast, in particular, hasn't really been popularized that much, so they don't know that much about us as much as we know about them. The northeast part has been ignored a lot by the central government. Many, many, many parts, like especially like this part, even the Mizoram part also, like it's so beautiful, but tourism is so less. People don't know about this place. Northeast Indian ho anlo ngay irad dan emo anlo soy chin dan isyad minshil teyang em. We saw the kan e trina wang hian. I was once asked if everyone ate cats and dogs. I don't know if that's common, but that is a stereotype that I've been asked. Whatever cliches they have in their head or whatever is being told to them, then they accept it for the truth a lot of the times. India ho hian in North East India min muniam dewa lan na om trina min muniam mangzong in an langan trong kama te pon ti foa. Tribal min ti trina. Moro zu tribal ka tam nu fuol ti ina ni lawa. Tribal ti om zi ahi abul puya chuan. India mi ni law. Barma mi ni bok law. Helai India le barma bora cheng. Sa po ina min oplai khan. India mi gan ni lawa. Barma mi gan ni bok si lo vangin. Asan pa in rel bol gan ni vang khan tribal ti ka min vua. Northeast Indian ini a vangin en shan na emo musid na itok to em. Kat to em em kase lawa. Amay ro chu buay tha ka chu. Mainland kan tila ya chuan, museum mati le, koy koy amo, pa kate kan kalian, foreigner angin aman mincar si. Wow, I've heard many of my friends saying they have faced discrimination based on their looks. There's still a lot of discrimination that's that's going on in mainland India, but I think India is progressing towards a less racist country. You know. During my years in college, I have experienced friends, close friends of mine who did face a lot of discrimination from their landlords, who faced violence even just based on the fact that they're Northeastern and they aren't really considered to be truly Indian. Actually, there was a very mass protest from everyone from the Northeast. Even uh, so many Mizos participated. It was in Bangalore. And it was because this one person who was Manipuri, he had been physically abused by his landlord. And everyone fought back in that case. And it was a very beautiful instance of unity. And everyone came together and fought for him and put the uh, landlord in jail. And we saw through to that. So I think that was a very good experience. Narendra Modi, Prime Minister, Ani Achang Khan, nasa takin Northeast India, Tzuan, na asonin, ma asonin kan lo siya, amuna tseng ini angin hehi tudik ani in isya em. Kan state ati hituan, Ma son 
মাচু কন সোন থারু ই সোন না এ হানজুন দো না আংচি খাচু আহম লম লোন কে নরেন্দ্র মোদি সাং নি সোম পালি আহং দু এ তি খু না সাং নি সোম পকুয় নি থা চুং হোন তুর লোম লোসুম ছিল দং নাম লিয়ন থাম হু তুরম ল কে নি আজন কন এয়ারপোর্ট সেসোৎ জো ক কন খোপু মসোন না লিয়ন থাম হু তুরম চুয়ং ল তিন বিজনেস চুংচাং আপো মসোন দং লম তং হু তুরম চুয়ন লো ভাঙ ইন দং লম এম এম ওম কখন জেনারেল এলেকশন খা ইলো ইভেন ভে এম রম সাই তু তেল মসোন ইবে সে এ ইভেন সানজু পোলিসে রম সুহাই তুই জন রম হেন সাক দং লমা আবিক ইন ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার থাক আঙাই সাকে নি আং রম রেথে আচুয়ান ডেভলপমেন্ট ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার কান নই থ্রাট লোহে পোয় থাক লাই বেড়ে তা খাটিং থাক তুর খান মালা আঙাই চুটি রোল জন কান পোলিটিকাল পার্টি লিয়ন হোন চু লম চুন লোহই থে লো লো ইভেন ভে এ সঞ্জু কান মিজোরাম মসো না তুর আনি আবং ইন ইভেন লো থে নি লো মিজোরাম পুম পুই হুয়া পা ভোট আনি আবং ইন চুয়ান মসো না আচুয়ান কে মানে কন ওম পুই কান ইদান লে কন ওম পুই লে কান হাম সিম সিম হি ইভেন ওং হিম তুর ইন কদু আুয়ান তু না কানথ্রং থার লে জেল তে হি ইনফিম না লমা জির না লমা ইন কি মা কে নি আয় সঙ্গ তো তুরা দু না নি আবং ইন এন কোল না লে এই তুর থ্রা হি কন মো জোক দো না ফর মাই এজ গ্রুপ উই আর দ্য ইউথ নাও সো উই রিয়েলি নিড জব দেন উই নিড প্লেসেস টু স্টাডি আই রিয়েলি হোপ দিস থিংস আর লাইক the new leader sees this kind of problems and solves them i hope that we get new leaders who inspire uh, the young uh, the young teens and i i hope that we get new leaders who are not uh, too old who are able to you know keep up with current uh, events and who are able to uh, you know who can recognize innovative ideas i really want uh, leaders who make a difference anile mainlanders i indian puite bula thu cha du te in em in thu cha du thu kan ei mizo tiang hen in lung rual tak khen in omila hei ei tu ma hi เอ่อเมลันเดอร์ทรูเฮียนอีนอร์ทอีสเอนเดียฮีอีมินหูสร้างดุตุกตอลอเซอินเดียโคเลตุยดิกตักกันนี่ติฮีอืมมินลอเซ
based on your gender. People will discriminate based on your sexual orientation. People will discriminate based on your age. It's just this awful part of our freaking sin nature that makes us do. I, I can't comprehend it. And for, for as much as racism is deeply steeped in, for example, in America, yeah, there is one thing. It really depends on where you grow up, because I think for anybody who's grown up in international cities, particularly like like myself, who was born in New York, raised in L.A., you you one of the beautiful things about that is you're exposed to everybody from everywhere. And I, re I remember I've talked about this before when we lived in Texas for nine years, when Ashley, Alexis and Micah were really their formative years from from, you know, Ashley was barely one. The, Alexis and Micah were born there all the way up until the ages of like 10. So their mm -hmm. childhood years. And I when they were old enough to start to understand, I would point out to them. And this is just the nature of San Antonio. For the most part, we'd be in a restaurant and I would say to them, look around and tell me what you notice. And at first, when I first started to do that, they didn't know what I was doing. And they were looking around and they would say a couple of things. And then they would ask me what I was pointing out. And I said, everyone in here is Caucasian. Everyone. The representation in this room compared to what's going on in the whole world is very one-sided. And it's important that you're aware of that to recognize that this is not the world. Yeah. And all I had to do at some point was go, and it makes me uncomfortable. If I walk into a place that's filled with white people, mm -hmm. still, to, they, they would have been 15, 14. And I'd say, what do you notice? And that's all I needed to say. And they'd recognize the fact that, wow, there's nobody but white people in here. And yeah. that's because that does, that's not a true representation of this world. Yep. Uh, and that's one of the most beautiful things about Los Angeles, in my opinion, is Me too. The that there's absolutely so much diversity. Somebody, it's, it's literally somebody from every different culture just, around just, the world just here and probably has like a, a restaurant or a business. Um, and it, yep. it's just w absolutely wonderful to see uh, that I, I remember, kind of diversity. I remember when I was an Uber driver, I think I've talked about this once before, and I, I had done a carpool. And there was a, a woman in the front with me who was uh, an Asian woman and two men in the back. One was both of them were very devout in their religious beliefs based on the way they were dressed. The man in the right side was Muslim. The man on the left side was a rabbinical Jew. Mm. And they were in the back seat sitting next to each other, talking about the apps on their phone and laughing and enjoying their company they got dropped off last and i had the woman in the front seat with me afterwards and she said what i was thinking they got out of the cars i'm driving with her and she looked at me and she said don't you wish the world was like that yeah. and i said yeah wasn't that beautiful to see those two men one a man from islam another one from judaism enjoying each other's company and laughing over their phones man i wish the world was more like that yeah, and unfortunately, the internet I think has just made it worse, just because people can hide behind screens now and and and, and just be even more hateful out in the open because they, yeah. But yeah, because I, I I talked about that too. What you just mentioned, the social media aspect. It used to be when I was a kid, the only way you had a platform for society to hear you, it had to be earned. Yeah, you don't have to earn a platform any longer. All you need is a phone. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite frustrating. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought it was a great video. If you great are video. From, and also, I did look it up. Uh, the uh, it's, um it's around the horseshoe of, of Bangladesh. So it's on the very other side of Bangladesh from Kolkata. Got it. Um, it, it I mean, the, the one that's... Uh, yeah, so it's... So it's basically right, the last part of India before you go into Bangladesh. No, 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 no. So like, here's Kolkata, and then there's the horseshoe. And then it's over here because you know how India kind of has that space <laughs> with Bangladesh. Cause it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That goes around it. it. It's on the other side. And so it's, it. okay. I, it's on, it. I think on the very edge of basically India, because yeah. I think it borders um, uh, my, my Myanmar. Myanmar. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah, it borders Myanmar. And uh, I think Nepal um, would be above it, right? Manipur is above it. Oh, and okay. then Assam is above it. Yeah. Uh, but no, Nepal is toward is more... Um, more east? More east. Okay. Um, or west, I mean. Sorry, <laughs> west. But yeah, um, fantastic video. If you are from the northeast India, please let us know. Because I know 
uh, you guys, uh, we often get told, we, you know, uh, it, it's wonderful when we get to, you know, whenever we get to watch Assam films or, or, or Northeast Indian films, if there's other stuff other than Assam films, like is there stuff from the, uh, this this uh, state or, or stuff like that, please let us know. It's just, it's not because we, we don't want to, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's complete ignorance. Ignorance um, and availability. Yeah. So uh, please obviously let us know down below and obviously treat everyone with respect and, and dignity um, and don't discriminate on people just because they look different than you. Obviously. Obviously. Love everyone. <laughs>